guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to set up a new campaign that eEdge has recently rolled out called the 12 Direct This Month in Real Estate campaign. So when it's a 12 direct, that means that your clients will receive a series of 12 emails over the course of the year. Okay, helping you stay in touch and help with retention. So email drip campaigns are a great way to stay in touch with your clients without having to do a whole lot. So let's take a look at how to set that up. The first thing you're going to do is log in to mykw.kw.com, which is where I am on my screen here. Okay, again, that's on the top of my screen here. Am I... URL bar, the mykw.kw.com. So from your MyKW homepage, what you're, we're going to want to find is this eEdge control panel box on the top center of your screen. And we'll actually want to go ahead and click the plus sign to the right of my marketing. Okay, so you should see a little plus sign to the right of my marketing on this eEdge control panel box, which I'm going to select. And then, as you might have guessed, select Manage and Create Campaigns. Usually it takes a couple seconds to load, but that will take you right over to your campaigns right away. Once that page loads, you should see any campaigns that you currently have set up in your account. And to set up a new campaign, we're going to simply click on the blue button on the top right of your screen that says Add new campaign. From there, you'll see all of the campaigns available in your account display, and you'll notice a search option on the left hand side, this gray box on the left side of your screen. Go ahead and click your mouse in the text box under campaign title so we can search for this new campaign. So if you'll go ahead and write the words this month, okay, that's all you need to uh, type in in order to find this right away. So you can simply type in this month in the campaign, in campaign title text box and click search. From there, you should see that 12 direct this month in real estate newsletter pop up right away. So you'll notice this gray bar right here where you can click to make those uh, campaign step details display so you can browse through those to take a look at them. You can also click on that to make it appear bigger on your screen if you'd like to take a closer look on the campaign that you're about to set up. So since I like this campaign, I want my contacts to go ahead and receive monthly real estate information. I can go ahead and click choose this template on the top right of your screen to get this activated. All right, and from here, we'll just need to do a, a couple additional steps to get that activated. So first of all, if you'll note, uh, you'll, you'll be able to scroll down and see the different pieces that will be going out in this campaign. And right, so if you click on any of those pieces, let's say this first piece here that's going out, I can see is going out on May 14th. This is the email subject that it will be. All right, and I can go ahead and click on that to view it bigger if I'd like to see how that will display when it goes out. Now just a heads up, this is uh, information that is pertinent to each month that it goes out, so this information is not available quite yet to go ahead and edit. So let's take a look, let's scroll on down to the bottom of your screen, I want to point out one more thing, you will see some default information here and that will auto display your personal contact information when it is sent out. So don't worry, it won't say this Ellen Smith. All right, that's just to give you a preview of what it will look like with your information. So when I click on close here, all right, what I'd like to show you, if you'll scroll the top of this section, you'll notice actually step one is a task that will go out. So you'll receive a reminder on May 7th. Okay, it shows you the date right here. It'll tell you, it'll give you a, a reminder automatically to come in and preview this piece that is going out on the 14th. Of course, again, just to reiterate, the reason it's not available for you to personalize at this time is because the real estate information for May is not quite available yet. Okay, so once the system gathers that information, it will notify you so you can come preview the piece 
and get that uh, looking how you'd like it to be. So for right now, so all you need to do is simply scroll to the very bottom of your screen here and click save and continue, that blue button on the very bottom here. You don't need to do anything further at this point because nothing is available quite yet for you to personalize. So I'll click save and continue. And you'll see the other two steps that we need to address pop up. Number three is a very important one. So go ahead and click on add or remove contacts, that blue option right here where it says add or remove contacts. And it will make your contacts display right away. Now there are two ways that you can add your contacts to this campaign. And you'll notice those two options in a tabs and two tabs on the top of this pop-up box. First of all, the groups option is a really ideal way to add your contacts to a campaign. So I should see all my contacts in my groups from this screen right here, since I have the groups tab selected. I can see my group names as well as how many contacts I have in each group. So all I'll want to do is click on the add option to add any groups over to the right column, meaning that they have been added to the campaign. Okay, so these groups have not been added on the left side, and on the right side they have been added. Alright, so I can select a couple groups here that I'd like to receive this campaign here. And just a heads up, a great thing about adding groups to the campaign is in the future, if you add a contact to your database and add them to one of these groups, they will automatically be added to this campaign. All right, so again, adding a contact to a group automatically adds them to the campaign as long as you have the group on this, on this right side column here. So it's a pretty great feature that uh, Market Leader has recently rolled out within the last uh, six months or so. But just a heads up, if you do want to add your contacts one by one, you do have that option on the top tab here. So where it says contacts, I'm going to select that just so I can show you that quickly. All right, you can use the search bar at the top of your screen to search for contacts you'd like to add. You can scroll through and click add one by one if you'd like to as well. Or you can simply click add all contacts to add all of those to the right column. Just a, another heads up here, it will tell you how many contacts have been officially added. All right, if that number looks like, hey, I, I have more contacts in my database than this number, all right, this is only showing you contacts that have working email addresses who have not unsubscribed. Okay, so that's why it might be a little, a slightly lower number than you're expecting here. Now that I have all of my contacts on the right column that I'd like to add to this campaign, I can cl simply click Save Changes, that blue button on the top right. And that might take a couple seconds to load depending on how many contacts you have added. All right, and now I see next to add or remove contacts, I have the number of contacts and the number of groups that I have. And I can always come back in here and edit that. The fourth and final step here, we'll just need to click on where it says review and activate. I right, just heads up, it does always give you this alert. Um, it is kind of alarming, but don't worry. Just go ahead and click continue. It always gives you that pop up. And from here, I simply need to click the first checkbox that is uh, saying that you have reviewed this campaign and its recipients. Okay, so you'll need to check off that this stands true. You can also select here to add your contacts automatically to another campaign once this campaign has been added. And you can also click the checkbox to the left of include showcase properties on all email steps. And it will send them three random uh, listings on the bottom of each campaign step to entice them to search for homes more on your website. All right, but all that is necessary for you to check here is this first checkbox right there. Okay, so that's the one you have to check. And then you can click Activate Campaign. Right, that blue button that says Activate Campaign. And it will take you right back to all of your campaigns where you have that option right here. You see that you have that set up with how many contacts you have, the groups, and so forth. Okay, So this shows you that that campaign is on and will send out on the date of that first campaign. 
So before I wrap up this video, I do just want to show you where to check that all of your contact information is up to date because that will auto populate automatically for you on each campaign step. So to do that, let's go ahead and go on to account on the top right of your screen here and select my account from that drop down. Okay, so I'm account on the top gray toolbar and then my account from that drop down. From here, all right, the main places to check on that will auto populate onto your campaign. We have our phone number on the right hand side on the top right here that will auto populate. And in this marketing section here, this will be the email address that will auto populate onto your pieces and the marketing website that will auto populate onto your campaign pieces. And you'll also notice your address, which you'll want to have your office address there as well. All right, this should all be up to date for you, but if it's not, feel free to click edit on the top left of your screen, that blue button there, to edit any of that information right away and save that. Lastly, if you'll scroll to the very bottom of your page, you will notice you have your headshot, an option to add your headshot on the very bottom here. And the headshot that displays in that center column under marketing image is a headshot that will appear on all of your campaign pieces. All right, guys, that is your MyKW tip for the day on how to set up the new This Month in Real Estate 12 Direct email drip campaign. Let us know if you have any questions. Feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Have a great one, guys.